back to a new video in today's video it's just a kind of quick video because i went out today with my mum i didn't go out today i went out to my mum's um so i didn't get a video done um so this morning i quickly grabbed some colors i saw someone do a marble now we all know i like a gel polish marble and they've done it slightly different to how i done it so i thought we'd give it a go so the person i can't remember the name but i'm going to put the picture not the picture uh i'm going to put their name on the screen because there wasn't a picture because it was a video but um i like the way they've done it and i thought hmm, i've never done it like that before it's similar in some ways but different in others so what i've done is i've grabbed food coma which is this nude madam glam gel polish you can save 30 percent on madam glam bits and bobs using my code natmug30 i've grabbed a load of other colors as well i just showed you but i can't remember all the names of them so what i've done is on my swatch pops i'm going to do three I've applied one coat of food coma, then I will cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds, then I will apply my second coat, and then I will apply, not apply, then I will cure that again for 30 seconds. So, like, instead of doing, like, lines like I normally do, she added blobs, um... I think I can't remember now because I watched the video like twice and it was early this morning and I didn't sleep very well so that's my excuse um I can't remember if she put like two or three colors together but I'm putting two lots of three colors no three lots of two colors together and I'm keeping the colors that are quite similar next to each other so the blue and the green the yellow and the orange and then the purple and the pink and like I do she'd added blooming gel so i'm going to use my urban graffiti blooming gel from nail nails and we're going to put this over the nail you don't cure this yet you just leave it as it is you don't need masses and she used a striper brush so i'm, I'm assuming she just picked the colors up and then she kind of like ran them over the nail where she wanted them so i was just trying to kind of make the colors mush together a little bit um, and then every time I changed colours, I did wipe off my brush. I don't know if she done that, I'm not sure. Um, and then she kind of just like mixed the marble up. And I, her marble came out really nice. I, I liked it a lot. Um, if you're doing the whole nail, I don't know, she kind of done the outside and left a bit in the middle. I'll see if I can link the video. Um, if I can get the link to the video, I will pop it in the description box so you can see what I mean. But um, yeah, so I've done it how she's done it with a striper brush. I usually use an ombre brush and I use usually pick up a bigger scoop. But I'm just pulling off some of that excess gel polish as well before I cure it in the lamp. Because sometimes if you have too much gel polish on your nail, it will wrinkle because the gel, the light can't penetrate through all the gel because there's too much. Um, I'm going to start another one. And again, we're doing the same process. We add our blooming gel. I did, my phone rang. Um, as I was, as I came towards the end of this nail, my phone rang. We forgot Scott's swimming kit at school. So I had to run his swimming kit up to school. But they rang and said, could you bring his swimming, his swimming stuff up? So I had to do that. <laughs> so if it, it cuts off a little bit at the end of this one. But I do the same kind of thing. Just... Oh. I just put the colours in like a different different places and then excuse the background everyone's home today it's late it's actually 10 past five <laughs> so yeah so I left it like that and left it to bloom and then the phone rang and then I thought right I will just show you doing another one so this one I ended up doing I think I put the pink and the purple in the middle and then the two colours on the outside. I can't remember. What am I doing? Not sure here. Right, yeah. So, oh yeah, right, okay. So the blue and the green in the middle. And then, and then the other two colours on the outside of this working outwards, if you see what I mean. So I went with the purple and the pink on either side. And then again, I did wipe my brush off as I went. And again, I, I just left it to bloom a little bit before I popped it in the lamp. But I quite like that one. That I think that was probably my favourite one. Um, so they've been cured in the lamp for 30 seconds. Then I decided to add some decals. These are decals from Nail Sugar. They have loads to choose from. 
and they're really gorgeous they've got some really nice summery ones so i chose two lollipops and a palm tree silhouette so when i do my decals i place them upside down on a stamper and then i will get some water and i just dab that onto the back of my decal using it's like an old cleanup brush i call it my cleanup brush it's a 3d um it's an acrylic 3d brush that's just really old and then after several seconds the backing will just slide off the decal and then you can stamp the decal onto the nail where you want it so because this is a palm tree i'm going to have it coming off the bottom of the nail like so so that's ready to cure now but with the other two um i've taken the back in off the decal and i will just paint the back of the decal with white gel polish this way sometimes if the decals aren't black you'll be you can see the color that you've got on the nail underneath the decal so by adding the white gel polish it just gives the back of the decal an opaque you can't see through it if you know what i mean and you want to cure that gel polish before you stamp it onto the nail so i've just added a watermelon lolly and a kind of is it blue i can't remember i can't see so yeah blue and purple lolly and then i decided to go over with the little pinks perfect matte top coat um make sure when you're applying matte top coat that you cover the whole nail otherwise you'll end up with shiny bits and matte bits and it will look a little bit funny i am gonna fast forward a little bit because I always, I don't know, I feel like this takes forever sometimes. So we're going to pop these in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then that's them finished. I love the decals. They make nail art really easy. And I actually quite like this marble technique. I think it definitely has a place. Um, so this is the nails. I hope you like them. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It's completely free. You have to stay though once you've subscribed. It's like a forever thing. <laughs> anyway, yeah. God bless. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye.